Hey there guys, I've got a bit of an update for you. This is my fourth go at this video. Um, sound issues, I tried doing one inside with the dogs and the missus, I tried doing a couple with the iPhone and the Rode video mic, and it's just, yeah, they've just come out really bad. Um, but I wanna get an update done, so I'm persevering, even though I've been editing, recording, editing, recording, I wanna get an update done today because I've got some news and I wanna get it in action um, by telling you guys first so as I can start making changes. So I've got some news for you. Right, first bit of news is that I'm rebranding. I don't like the name Crankhouse Cycle Network anymore. I don't like the logo. I, 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 um, I'm fed up of my logo blending into a sea of other mountain bike logos. And the name, I came up with the name originally because the name was gonna be my, um, my bike workshop in the UK. The original plan was to travel around Europe. Uh, Erin was starting up a business. I wanted to start up a business of my own. And I decided that what I would do was open, train as a, train as a bicycle mechanic and open a workshop and then build a community around a great little workshop in a, probably a little village somewhere in Wales where there's good mountain biking or Scotland. Plans change. And I've decided to do the YouTube channel. The channel originally was going to be a way of building up a bit of an audience um, before actually opening the shop. Um, but yeah, like I say, this is a great alternative. We now live in Spain and I'm trying to build the channel. So because I'm going in a bit of a different direction or because that name doesn't feel right anymore, I spent a bit of time thinking about what it is that I'm trying to put out into the world, what it is that I'm you know trying to give to myself and give to you guys with the channel obviously for myself i'm trying to build a youtube channel that is going to be fun to make that gets me out on the mountain bike makes me healthier um and it makes me a living hopefully eventually with the brand um and other ideas um and then for you guys i want you to see me as a as a guy I, when i had a job in the uk i really struggled to motivate to ride the mountain bike i had a really stressful job um when stuff was going tits up at work i would not ride the bike that's what would suffer is my hobbies and stuff would suffer so um so i really want the channel to be directed at you guys and help get you out on the bike because you'll see hopefully my mountain bike footage you'll see that i'm a pretty ordinary rider i can i can ride you know i ride around here no problem and it's pretty techy stuff around here but i'm no um you know i'm no greg Manar. i'm not an absolute i'm no certainly no danny mackerskill i'm just a i'm just a regular rider like you know a normal guy and i want for you guys to see that and not get stuck in you know anyone that's stuck in the same kind of rut i was with mountain biking to stick it back up your priority list i've gone to the extent of moving and quitting my job to put it back up my priority list because these are the things in life that make you happy so that's the first bit of news is that the is that the channel cha is changing name the channel name change is to the reluctant rider that's hopefully what i'll become known as um because of what i said just now it's the motivation thing it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek description of myself really i was going to use i want it to be a lot more personal so i was going to use a suggestion that brian the guy that's mentoring me said um he said just use your own you know perhaps you could think about using your own name um and your face as a logo to make it more personal and i really like the idea of using my face as a logo because i'm sick of paying for them and designing them and changing them it's just so hard to not blend in with the rest so yeah so the name is the reluctant rider the logo is going to be my face um nice and simple um i'm releasing this video that's why i'm recording this video in a bit of a hurry and releasing releasing it i want to release the video tonight so as you see it um under the name of crank house still and then hopefully by the time you click on the video unless you click really quick um the name will be changed the uh, the logo will be changed but you'll know it's my channel because you'll see me in the video and you'll see the rest of my channel looks pretty much the same content wise it's going to be pretty similar i think that's how you um inspire people to ride isn't it is you ride yourself and record it and then do the videos kind of like i've been doing the skills series all of that's going to continue the, the channel's obviously going to evolve but yeah it's 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 going to stay the same for the most part apart from general evolution first bit of news second bit of news is the bike is still broken i'm picking it up tomorrow they're still waiting on the rear adapter because it, the frame it can't take a 203 mil disc uh, you know rotor without this adapter which is to be expected that part wasn't ordered it takes ages to get stuff up into the valley so i've just said to them stick the sram guidar back on the back stick stick the new magura on the front and i'll ride it like that i just have to have my bike back i can't wait until this part gets here it could take three weeks i've got a parcel that's not arrived and it's been three weeks so i can't risk it so bikes back from friday which is tomorrow i'll be riding again video uploads will be back to normal finally i'm so 
so relieved to I've been what you know Tuesday went by I didn't have a bike to do wheelies on I was a, you know tomorrow was going to go by and I'm not going to have a trail ride I hate it I really like the consistency that I had before so that's coming back and the third bit of news is while I was off the bike I, I was trying to be as proactive as I could I was looking for demo bikes really good high-end demo bikes like Santa Cruz and Yeti couldn't find anything looking for anything that I could you know rent but they're really low end and and it, it was far away for me to go to collect them um, it just weren't good bikes and I wouldn't have really enjoyed riding them um, but while I was looking for demo bikes I found a expo a really good expo called test the best in a little village that I'll put up on the screen now near Madrid and it's got like Cannondale um, it's got Mundraker I don't know if that's how you say it Mundraker it's got uh, Canyon are there, Trek are there there's loads of GTs there there's loads of massive names there for this side of the world and yeah, and I, and I just stumbled on it. So I've booked a hotel, which I'm so happy about. I've, I'm going up there two weeks tomorrow. And I've got six um, bikes booked up for testing, which I'm totally happy about as well. So I'm going to run through the list because what's going to happen off the back of the, the visit, obviously, is I'll do a video of the expo so as you can see what Tests the Best near Madrid is like. And then anyone in Europe really could fly down and, and go to that event. It's in a nice part of the world. Why wouldn't you? And then I'll actually do a quick test video for each bike because it's a really great way to to grow my channel wait until you hear some of these bikes so i'll put the details up on the screen as i read them out and give you a bit of time to look at it so if there's some gaps you know it's just while you read um so the first bike is again i can't say it mundraker or mundraker dune carbon xr which is like a seven and a half grand like sterling bike that is ten thousand dollar bike i'm super super stoked to ride that i can't wait first go on a carbon bike first go on a bike that costs over three grand yeah really looking forward to it so that's the first bike the mundraker dune carbon xr second bike is the scott spark 710 um yeah, I don't know too much about that bike, but have a look at it on the screen. It looked like a cool bike. I've read up a little bit about them before. So that's the second bike I'll be riding. Um, the third bike will be my first ever go on a 29er. That's the Trek Fuel EX 9.8 29er. Again, real, real sick looking bike, that one. Um, I can't wait to have a go on that. Um, the fourth bike is Cannondale's, looks, it looks to be on their website, their top end enduro bike, which is exactly you know what I would be looking to get into that end of but that kind of bike in the higher end it's the Cannondale Jekyll one a it's like an eight thousand dollar bike really cool um looking forward to riding that always had half an eye on Cannondale um but like the the direct sales company so I'm happy with what I've got now but yeah looking forward to riding that the fifth bike is another Mund is another Mundraker or however you say it Foxy Carbon XR another really really awesome looking bike um, yeah, I'll leave the details up for that for a little bit longer. And then the sixth bike is a bit of a blast to the past for me, although these are all 2017 bikes. I used to ride a Lapierre Spicy 2016 model, really cool bike, 26 inch wheels. Only reason I got rid of it was because I jumped on the 27.5 bandwagon when it was 650B. Um, yeah, so I'm test riding the Lapierre Spicy, I think it's the 517 or 527. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to riding that bike. And that's it, guys. I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. Um, I just wanted to get blast through a bit of an update. I'm not set up for vlogging. I'm not a particularly good vlogger. I just want to get the message across while, you know, get the update across while I'm off the bike and have a video uploaded. So as you can see, I'm still alive. So yeah, I'll flash up the end card now, which I'm going to start using, try and make the channel look a bit more professional, but, um, and I'm probably going to point the wrong way, but click over there for my last trail ride, which was three weeks ago for me, only a couple of weeks ago for you, um, only last week for you. Um, go over there, click on that one. Um, just down below that i'll put my last vlog up which had a bit of an update um the the last update i gave you on things how things were going i'll click on that one there and then just down here i'll stick a subscribe button um i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe I've, I've got 100 subscribers i'm so happy i've not made a big th thing about it on this one because my 100 sub episode is going to be my bike check of my canyons drive um, i'm going to stick to that once i get the bike back my gear brakes on that's my 100 100 uh, subscriber episodes but yeah thanks a lot guys um and a new little closer out for you like the other guys have got you know like the see you out on the trail get stoked ride hard all of that um my one is on your bikes catch you later cheers